guys, Kel here, and I have a sore throat, so I'm going to sound really weird, but today we're going to be playing Aching Dreams, a dating sim. I'm going to probably start playing a lot of these dating sims just for fun, and just just feel and just see how awkward it can get. Let's see. I'm going to take my... Alright. Here we go, maybe. <laughs> Hell. Well, it's been several months since I left home seeking adventure. The country of Alaria is large, and I've seen some interesting things, but I still haven't found anything truly remarkable or adventurous. But I've heard that the harbor town of Serenia has been having some problems with monsters. It's a large port, so there should be lots of things to do, and its adventures and guild is famous throughout the country. And if you are the type of people that are easily disturbed... I wouldn't advise watching me play this game, just just saying, but you know what? You guys enjoy it anyway. The Adventurers Guild serves as a clearinghouse for adventurous jobs and those looking for them. I should be able to see the town right past this last bend. Smack! Ow! Ugh! What was that? Oh, it's a woman! And I see her panties. Alright. Girl's voice. Hey! Watch where you're going, jerk! Yeah! <laughs> Pissed off girl. Hey! Are you staring at my panties after you just knocked her over? <laughs> no, of course not! That's the most disgusting, perverted, cowardly thing I've ever heard of knocking a helpless girl down just to peek at her underwear. It really hurts my throat. <laughs> but I. Oh wait, that's, that was me. <laughs> okay. You're a despicable, sniveling, small dick bastard. Whoa, Jesus! Damn, this, this girl's like hardcore. Is that the bad one? Shy girl, please tell your Nissan. Let's just leave. Fine, good riddance. <laughs> Da da da. Small dick bastard. What the hell was her problem? Well, I better get to the guild. Old woman. Oh, wow there, Sonny. Why are you going in such a hurry? <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I was just... Going to Adventure Skill for Fame. Watching maybe some nookie and some Bavarian cream. <laughs> you, should, you should mention like, What? What? Oh, don't think I don't know what young men think about. Those are some nice looking girls that you just smacked into, huh? Who are you? Granny E. Oh, anyone ever calls me as Granny! I've experienced a lot in my long life. <clears throat> I believe you. And I'm here to tell you one important thing. Each of those girls has a problem weighing on her soul. If you could help solve those problems, you might get something good in return. <laughs> you know, the problem's weighing on the soul part, though, for old lady, too. By now, don't let me down. Is my voice going to be in this video? Yes. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? That's my friend Colby over there. He's he's speaking. Hi. What the hell? This day has just been one freak after another. Well, I guess I better see what kind of lunatic is running the Adventures Guild. Good afternoon. Strong lad, armor, sword. I bet you're looking. To be an adventure. That's right. My name's Kale. Oh, that's me. That's you. You're messing me up, man. Leave me alone. Okay. That's right. My name's Kale. I've been wondering all are you seeing the sights. I've heard Sereni has a good adventure skill. Of course, of course. I'm biased. I admit, but I believe that our guild is the best of, of all. Sereni, my name's Saturn. I am the guildmaster. Mr. Saturn. Never say that again. Anyway, we've got lots of jobs to do. 
everyone's getting ready for the Spring Festival. It's in 32 days. Remember that? Just 32 days. <coughs> you can help move cargo at the docks, or you can assist our wizards in enchanting magical fireworks and party favors for the festival in 32 days. Hey, wait! Boxes and party favors? That doesn't sound like a real adventure to me. Ah, well, about that, you're aware. I'm sure that a while Adventures Guild offers free room and board to its members. It can revoke those privileges at any time. Ah, uh, on the authority of the branch head, i.e. me. Dot dot dot. Okay. Okay, there will be some real adventure soon. But for now, you should earn some money, build up your abilities, and explore the town. Fine, no problem. See you around, old man. Oh, and one other thing. There are another couple of beginning adventures that you'll probably be seeing a lot of girls. Oh, no, not you! What's he gonna use for her? Tayo, the battle babe, and Celine, the magics, the magis in training. The magis in training. Be sure to take good care of them. <laughs> the battle babe. Her name is the battle babe. Sounds like a terrible porn. Screw well, <laughs> this! I'm leaving. Come on, Celine. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? This is the Adventures Guild. Here you can check which adventures are available. If any, once you succeed in an adventure, it's finished. But if you fail, you can try again. But each try uses up a day, whether you succeed or fail. Completing an adventure successfully will unlock more adventures 32 days until the Spring Festival. Let's go to town. Oh, where should we go, guys? The lab, the lighthouse, shop, docks. This is the town of Serenia. From here, you can go to the docks, shop, lab, town, outskirts, lighthouse, or guildmaster. Go to the lighthouse first. You're gonna like the. I, I, I do that. Oh, is it a surprise? Yes. Sorry about that, guys. I got a text message. This is the lighthouse. The only way to go is back to town. Oh, okay. You need to become friends with us. Uh, oh, that's gonna be terrible. To get to the lighthouse. It's gonna be like terribly. Oh, oh. God. Oh god, it's Celine. Hey, baby. This is the lab. Here you can work in an enchanting items to make money or practice magic. With Celine, erase your magic. Working and practice take one day each. The amount of money you get from work depends on your magic. Alright, I'm gonna practice my magic. Okay. I guess we can practice magic. Have you ever done it before? I wanna practice my magic on you. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, kind of. I'm okay. Well, let's try to simplify our spell. <laughs> is that supposed to be me? Who is the dude in the, the long, white, brown hair? Oh, that's you. <laughs> uh, I look like... I look like freaking Coconut Head. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh! If you guys don't know who Coconut Head is, he's from Ned's Classified School Survival Guide. Look it up. Yeah! Put it out! You spend the day practicing with Celine. Your magic is now 55. I'm gonna go to the docks now. Oh shit, not her. <laughs> <laughs> These are the docks. Here you can move boxes to earn money or train with Tayo to build your strength. Working and training take one each day. Take one day each. The amount of money you get from working depends on your strength. I'm gonna train with her so let's see if I can touch her boobies. Want to spar? Huh, perv. Want to spar? Huh, perv. I'm not a perv, but I like to spar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, sure. In guard, bitch. Uh, you spend the day sparring with Tayo. Your strength is now 55. See, I'm gonna move some boxes to get some, like, shit. Yeah, move those boxes, bitch! I'll just sit here with my margarita and march. They got a, they got margarita. There's a mar just, just, just pull out a margarita. This would be easier without your encouragement. You spend the day moving boxes with your strength to 55. The quartermaster pays you 10, 10 G for your help. 
You now have a hundred G. See, a hundred grand. I think that means gold. Yeah. Shame, I can't go to the White House. I'm gonna work with you, babe. Yeah, babe. How you doing, babe? I think it's nice that you're going to help make things for the festival. It's good for the sea of man who can be creative like this. Oh, I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> yes, that's important. Celine seems very innocent. Anyway, you spent the day making magic items for the festival with your magic 55 and you got 10 G for it. You now have 11. 110 G. <clears throat> do I like ever get tired? Like, I've played many d d dating sims, I get tired. I wonder if I do get tired on here. I probably do. No. Never. No. Huh. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's why I said Pico Sunday would be Fun. a better choice. Seems like hard work for me. To me. Fun for me! I enjoy kicking your ass! Endured it, bitch! She's gonna say every time we spar. Nope. My strength is now sick. I feel like if you go to the lighthouse, you're gonna end up having sex with somebody. I, I, I knew it. <laughs> Here you can work in enchanting items to make money or practice. Magic with sling to raise your magic. We're gonna practice that one day each. The amount of money you get from working depends on your magic. Boom! Her boobs are big. They're all big. Big boobies. I think it's nice that you're going to make things for the festival. Oh, it's just a repeat. Oh, I'm very good with my hands. Yes. You need to gather latex sap from the trees in the valley. You need several buckets. What do you need latex for? Oh, snap. What do you need latex for? Oh, oh you naughty old man. Oh, what the hell? I'm going, I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh, great! You're the one supposed to help me recover the sacred item. I could say the same thing. Oh, that's me. That's me. I could say the same thing. Now, now. Cooperation is the essence of the Avengers Guild. Where the hell did you come from? I was picking mushrooms. I was picking mushrooms. Guildmaster runs off. Fine, let's just get this over with, okay? Fine! Fine! Go ahead, fearless leader. Okay, let's see. What? Arrow suddenly whisked out of the holes in the wall, narrowly missing you. Oh, good. Now we know to keep low. The next room has a large flat stove set into the floor, stretching from the wall to wall. Oh, wait, that's, that's not Tayo saying that. This looks suspicious. Yes, it does. Tayo kicks one behind and you stumble onto the stone. God, oh, crap! A huge slab rushes down from the ceiling. Fortunately, you manage to roll forward out of the way before it crushes you. The slab pounds downward and retracts Tayo dash forward to join you as it does so. The slab pounds down a couple more times then gives up. Good job! You may make a good adventure. Good job! You may make a good adventure. If I survive, no thanks to you. <coughs> the next room contains a large hole too big to, ju too big to jump across. If you're unprepared, you can take this opportunity to go back to town and choose wisely. Hmm, how are we going to cross this? I think I can jump across. You leap across the chasm. And bounce off the far side, fall into the deep chasm. pit below. Kill. Ah! Chasm. Fortunately, the pit leads out the mountainside after bouncing you around a bit, okay? A lot. Did you hear Well! Chasm. Well, this adventure was a bust. Thanks for nothing. Small dick bastard. She's fine. Oh. He failed to complete the venture. Sad face. Well, damn, I don't look. 
I'm guessing uh, I'm gonna buy a rope. Oh, thank you. Be careful, rope birds. I'm going on a freaking adventure, man. How you takes your rope and ties it to the dagger and then throws the improvised grapple on to look over the handy beam in the ceiling. <coughs> Tayo swings over and gracefully lands on the other side, and then she swings the rope back to you. Whoa! The dagger slips free just as you're swinging over. Your chest hits the far edge, knocking the wind out of you. And Tayo hauls you up to safety. Thanks. No problem. If you died, who would check for traps? My ghost would come back and set the traps off to kill you. Well, enough cheery thoughts. I think we're almost there. At the far end of the cave, pushed up against the wall, is a treasure chest. Hmm. It's locked. Now what? Hold on! I can't handle this! Just a sec! Taya moves in front of the chest and does something you can't see. There's a click, and the chest swings open. Alright, way to go! What's inside? Panties! There's freaking panties! Panties! There's panties in this treasure chest! Yes, this sacred item, yes, my fresh! Yes! You sick perverted freak! Congratulations! I bet you're complete. Tie you on the traps. Alright, alright! Ooh, festival set up. <coughs> so you're here to help out with the festival set up, small dick bastard. How do you know I have a small dick? <laughs> like, seriously! Stop, crew! Stop calling me that! It's not like you've ever seen it anyway! Thank you, that makes sense. <laughs> well, no try and show me, perv. We gotta get these buckets unloaded. There's a huge pile of boxes on a nearby dock, looking like they've just been unloaded from a ship. You and Tyus start bringing them to a nearby shop. What exactly are we doing anyway? Well, once we've got these unloaded to the shop, we'll unpack, unpack them. So we're just helping out some random merchant? It's more than that. Everyone was so handy near the vessel. There aren't enough magical toys and bouts to go around. It's less fun for everyone. Plus, plus, it's making a generous donation to the guild. Where did you come from? I was just behind this barrel, sir. Shopping. He runs off. I think he may be an even bigger pearl than you. Thanks a lot. Soon all the boxes are inside the shop and the two of you begin unpacking. So, you want to make sure the festival is fun for everyone? Well, yeah, it's an important part of the town. I have some fond members of, of past festivals. That's a little more sentimental than I would have expected from you, Tayo. For the first time, you recall Tayo looks flustered. Oh, she's blushing. Oh, oh, she's blushing. Oh, what are we going to do here, guys? But yeah. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? Huh, <laughs> nothing really. The TV worked in silence for a few minutes, then you find a crate that has magic lock on it. Looks like only the Guildmaster can open it. Go and check for mission boxes, I think we lost one. You go back to the barrels. I mean, you go back to the damn it, I'll say. <laughs> hey, damn human. It's Granny E, guys. God, Granny E, what are you doing here? <laughs> you sure scary as you far young. Everything's going with you and Tayo. Pretty good, except for calling me a perv and small dick bastard all the time. Really? That's scenic? No. Well, she's just afraid of getting to know you. Afraid? She's almost killed me several times. Exactly. Try not to be too hard on her. Take care. Something about that old woman is just not right. Oh, I found the box. Great run with done. 
As you put your boxes on the table, you notice the magically locked one is open. Oh, did the Guildmaster stop by again? Huh? No. Huh? How do you get this box open? I just, uh, opened it. Uh, I just opened it. Hey, look, we're finished. Great jabs, kiddies. Take the rest of the day off. It's almost night time. Not my problem. Congratulations, adventure complete. Tie on the festival setup. Alright, guys, that's enough for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know we haven't got to much of, like, anything, really. Just, uh, got to know the characters a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys like this, I'll make more. And just don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be really appreciated.